right, we went as far as we could um, on the road. Mandy brought us up. We're about, uh, we think about two miles from Inspiration Point. So we're gonna walk the road and then uh, hop on the trail from there to Vincent Gap. And then we'll see whether or not we walk the road. But um, what's that sign say, Joe? It's like the penalty box. <laughs> road closed. Uh, Joe closed. Two mile penalty. Yeah, two mile penalty. Uh, but it looks like the road's in pretty good walking shape. Um, don't have our uh, micro spikes on yet, but we'll see how it kind of unfolds for us. Yeah, it's pretty. It's packed pretty hard. Yeah, it looks like it is packed pretty hard. Just met a nice gentleman walking his two dogs. Gave us a lot of kind of intel coming up. So. Your intro name should be Two Dogs Smiling. Two Dogs Smiling. I like it. All right. Well, we're going to. Uh, move on up the trail here and we'll kind of give you an update when we uh, we get to inspiration point take care y'all all right making our way along the road actually not a bad hike the snow is pretty compacted it's like a lot of people have walked along this the locals and so forth Inspiration Point, which is where the trail intersects, and uh, we're going to take a look at it here and make a determination if we if we're going to jump on the trail or if we're going to just stay on the road. we're gonna kind of divide and conquer here legend and I are gonna take the trail no filter and denim Dan are gonna take the road we're thinking they're gonna get there before us but we don't know kind of a little bit of a now nah, I won't say a race because we're not that stupid <laughs> but uh, we'll see what we get into we're gonna meet up up at uh, Vincent Gap uh, so we'll regroup there so we'll see how this trail does we'll talk to you in a little while and all right, John and I are making our way along the, the trail, and actually not too bad. And uh, it looks like there could have been somebody that's come this way maybe a few days ago. We're seeing a few footprints. Some beautiful views here too. See them here. What a beautiful morning. All right, gonna keep marching along here. So George and Joe, or Dan and O'Filter, we're doing the road walk from Inspiration Point to go around to Vincent Gap. And it's pretty nice, but you can see. Folks that have been through here earlier, depending upon the time of day, we've had some fun doing some post holing. We're just fortunate enough right now, the sun hadn't warmed us up yet. We were able to just walk on top of this and see some of the other tracks. Um, not a lot of road, mostly just snow. But it's a... Uh, this little boy is kind of liking the easy pace doing this. Hope we knock out in some of the miles before the sun really cooks it. And it's coming up, so 
just enjoy it. Nice view. Good pace. That's some beautiful views. I think you can see forever here. We're still on the trail and it uh, looks like we're breaking a little bit of trail here. It doesn't appear anybody's coming this way. We have uh, made a decision to deploy the ice axes as we kind of get into this tree area. Yeah, hopefully uh, John won't use it on me. But... All right, well, we're gonna uh, work our way through these, this here, and uh, we'll talk to you in a little bit. We are making, <laughs> oh, a little post hole there. Making our way down into Vincent Gap. Looks like uh, no filter and did him Dan and beat us here. But not too bad a hike across there. We did uh, take a short road walk um, to miss uh, the north face of it, which was looking pretty, a little bit sketchy. So we did a little road walk and to get back on the trail. All right, well, we made a decision that uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the road walk around baden Powell. The north face is looking a little bit tough, but Joe, one of the things you need to pay attention to is these, these mountain goats coming at you the next 10 miles. You're the official mountain goat spotter. I'm, I'm gonna find one. I'd love to put my pack on one of them. Yeah, and see if you can tame it. Out. Okay, all right. That should be fun to film. That would be really fun to film. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, off we go. All right, we actually broke out into some asphalt on this road walk. Not much of it, but we'll take it. But more importantly is uh, we came across water. And uh, normally you wouldn't think about <laughs> drinking water that's running beside a road. But it's actually pretty clear and, uh, you know, filtered and everything tastes great. So just what we needed to kind of rehydrate. And uh, I'm not sure how much further we're going to go, but we're going to keep going. The views have just been incredible today. The road, the snow is pretty soft on the road, so it's a little tough walking. But again, we're, we broke it out into a little bit of asphalt, so that's kind of nice. But again, beautiful views. All right, we'll talk to you all in a little bit. Still working our way too, and uh, it's pretty, pretty funky. Get going, George. Those guys are coming across that spot right down there, and you can just see. I really I guess I could walk out here a little further. That section in there, that's part of it. I should have gotten a video while I was going across, but that was otherwise focused. So what we're, Rumbles is at right now. It's a tough little area. But all's good, all's good. Even though we refer to this as a road walk, <laughs> it is not an easy road walk. Like I so said, we had just a little bit of asphalt there, but it's been a lot of this. A lot of post holing, going up over some major snow drifts. That's the road. So we're working at it. Hey, Rumbles. What's up? Snow, man. You snow it. Ah. <laughs> That's, uh, you can see that along that, along the face there is 
I weigh two, which is what we've been walking right now. And it's uh, been really pretty. There's been nothing but snow and it's been softening up, but we're still pretty lucky. Still pretty lucky. Great views, not too much post holing. Uh, soon we think we'll start downhill. That's what we think, anyhow. We'll be back with y'all later. All right, this is uh, the wrap up for day 34. And uh, we are camping. Alongside the road that we were walking, which is State Road 2. It's a little campsite here. Actually, not too bad. There's no snow, and that's uh, that's pretty good, and no, no rocks falling down. That's one of the things we noticed was a lot of rocks. Um, they got a lot of cleanup to do besides just the just the snow. Just there's been a lot of rocks and boulders and so forth that have fallen into the road. So it's going to take them months to get this thing cleaned up. So. No filters over here making dinner. What are we having? Dad. Oh, yeah. What was that Oriental thing we picked up? Yeah, the teriyaki noodle bowl. Teriyaki it's very good. Bowl very good. With a little chicken in there. All right. All right. All right. Cooking, you know? All right. So how many miles do we do today? Um, probably, you and John were probably in the 15 range. Dan and I a bit less because we did we switched over to the road sooner for the road walk, so we got a little bit less. Probably around 15. Yeah, it's hard to tell, you know, obviously, again, we're not right on the trail. That, um, it follows it, the road follows it pretty close, but it yeah. takes a, maybe a little less mileage and stuff like that, but it takes away the sketchy stuff that we're right. dealing with. Yeah, uh, there was a group of the young Europeans uh, that most of them did the road walk here, and then a couple of them actually went up to Baldy and we're going to come back down. So hopefully uh, they've made that without any problems. And, uh, We're hoping they come walking by. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure where they ended up tonight, but uh, we could see footprints that they've continued. So we're hoping to get an early start tomorrow to where <clears throat> the snow will be crunchy again. It'll be a lot easier to walk on. It was getting pretty slushy and getting a little bit of post holes, uh, a few big ones, but most of the time yeah, just kind of ankle. Slowed, slowed you down and sapped a bunch of energy out of your legs. Right, right. It wore me out. Yeah, John and... Uh, Dan, we're just blazing it up. Oh man, I need to tie something on to, to George and ride him <laughs> or have him pull me up. That didn't sound right, did it? Yeah. And John getting all ready here, and there's Denim Dan all set up. Any uh, words of wisdom? Oh, no, I'm just ready to eat supper. Eat supper. Yeah. All right, all right. John, any final thoughts? Uh, it was a good day, and I'm glad I brought a sub. <laughs> Oh, uh, we should have. Did you get a picture of that? Yeah. That was like an 18 inch monster sub that probably weighed two pounds. So, I could, I could give you a... that's that's half of it. <laughs> it's uh, fantastic. Oh man, look at that. Load it up. Beautiful. Wow. He's going to be eating good tonight. All right. Well, that is it for today. Um, shared a little bit of videos today, but not a whole lot to see. We did some Just early to, in the day and then put the yeah. heads down and go. Yeah. It, uh, you know, again, we say it's a road walk. It was not an easy road walk. We only had a little bit of asphalt here and there, but the rest of it was that slushy stuff. So hopefully we'll, we'll get through it tomorrow. Not sure exactly where we're going. Um, yeah, we're we'll figure that out. We're going today, but we turn the corner and see how the went off and just snow everywhere and there's not much water yeah so we yeah. just passed a drainage ditch <laughs> that's our water that's our water but it tastes good it tastes good all right well we'll leave it with that y'all have a great night and we'll talk to you in the morning have trails